Shalom Chavarim, uh, my friends, this is a very important week for our Jewish tradition for, um, uh, and for myself as well. Uh, we are reading in the book of Leviticus, the second Torah portion from Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 6. And this Shabbat is called Shabbat Agadol, which is the big Shabbat before Pesach, before Passover. In this Torah portion, we are learning about the offering, the korbanot, which are the sacrifices that our ancestors were supposed to bring, you know, to uh, the Mishkan, to the tabernacle. And those were the minha, the meal offering, where the um, hatat, which was the sin offering, was the asham, the guilt offering, and the shevach shlamim, which are the sacrifice of well-being or peace. Those were some of those uh, offerings that they were bringing to God because that was the way to be close to God. Korban means, come from the root Le'itkarev, which means to be closer, and that was the way that our ancestors did to be close to God. But in today's life, the way that we are doing that procedure is by praying our prayers and our rituals, our needs. In this Shabbat, Shabbat Agadol, this is the Shabbat that there were two moments where the rabbi spoke to the congregation. One was the Shabbat Agadol in preparation for the congregation, for the Seder, for Pesach, for Passover, for the moment of coming together to celebrate the freedom. And the second one was in Shabbat Shubha in preparation for the Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. As I said, this is the very important for our congregation for our Jewish tradition, but why is important for me? You know, as you can see in my tie, I have the American flag. After 13 years, this weekend, in our place, in our congregation, I will be taking the oath to become an American. I'm going through all the stages, going from a visitor visa, to the student visa, to a religious visa, to a permit worker, to a permit worker, and finally a green card. I'm going to be taking the next step, the next stage, which is to be an American citizen. Why it's important for me is because it's my way of being closer to a place who really likes and um, pray the freedom for every single human being as one of the ways that our ancestor taught us to be close and give thanks and giving thanks to this country for embracing me and letting me be here in different stages in different uh, um, states, starting from Texas, when I came long, actually 20 years ago, to uh, then to Ohio, then to New Jersey, then to Connecticut, and being as well in Kentucky, and then you know South Dakota, and then finally back to Texas. And that's my way of being. Thank you to this great nation for being a new immigrant, a person who in some ways celebrate freedom as we're going to be doing this coming weekend. As our ancestor taught us, the value of freedom is one of the best values that we have always to, um, to ask and to make sure that everybody is free. This is what we'll be celebrating you know, in the next week. And I start this Shabbat at all for me and for our congregation to prepare ourselves to those big moments. Hopefully all of us will learn how to thank in our ways and always to learn the value of freedom. Can you read some? Shalom. Always since kids are lame to blind.